Welcome back to channel everyone. This is Power of Tutorials part 2. In the previous video we have talked about how you can customize your form using Power Apps and can load the user profile picture and on the meeting request button click can send an email. This video will talk about that on this meeting request button click I'm going to create a duplicate entry to a new list which is our approval data list. Alright, so how you can do this let's talk about open your form in Power Apps on the meeting request button click I have to go in action click on flow and create a new flow here with the name approval now I have to add a step here select SharePoint and call your create item event here now in the site address put your site name in the list put your list name where you want to create a new entry I'll click on approval data because I want it here now you have to map your all these list column name which we have created in this approval data and by default in the dynamic content we have nothing right now just click on see more and click on ask in power apps it will create entries for you in the person and group columns we have to add a custom value so select that and now just click on see more everywhere whenever you get in a person and column field and this uh, drop down you have to click on this enter enter a custom value see more ask in power apps just do it for all these items once that is done click on save your flow will be saved now I have to go in my power apps and this is my approval workflow Click on this, it will add your workflow here in the data section. Once that is there in the function, you will see that approval underscore one dot run is there. That is our flow name. And on the run, you have to pass parameter for all these fields we have created in the flow. So in my form one here. I have all these fields there and I'll just pass them one by one so how we can pass them here let's talk about that it's a bit tricky in the case of person and group field and drop down field and apart from that if you have a simple text field or multi line text it will just simple I'll just talk about that so first of all I'm gonna uh, create a profile parameter here so just type profile and you'll see that you have option coming up here so profile data card one which is our this one and dot default it will send our profile item value to this parameter and next is person and group field which is this one so in the person and group field what we have to do is just drill down here and have to select this particular value that means or this particular item which is data card value 2 and I will just type data card 2 so it's data card value 2 which is this one and then click dot select it dot display name in the domain case we have domain data card 1 dot default comma next we have industry value industry also has a drop down value so we have to pick this value section which is data card value 4 and just type data card value 4 dot selected dot value 
of this particular drop down and then we have our year of experience that will be very simple because it's just a text entry dot default comma email also has the text field so it will be default value 2 then we have about which is multi-line text so it will be dot default value 2 and just close the bracket once that is done there is no error if there will be error here you will see that there is an error sign there but there is no error that means our formula is correct and now just click on your file save it click on publish to sharepoint once your app is published just go on your <coughs> user profile list click on any of the item and click on this meeting request we'll check in our new list and we'll see if there is a new item created or not uh, now we have a new item here in our approval data that means our flow is successfully run and if i click on any other item here just refresh it we'll see that the data is coming properly so that is the way how you can create flow using power apps and can copy data from one list to another list so that's all from uh, for this tutorial in the next video we'll talk about uh, how we can create approval workflow on this particular list so till then stay tuned and thanks for watching learn and tech